community are being asked to show up and give this veteran a proper funeral. The service begins at 11 a.m. All right, we're at the outset of our rush hour, and we've got light to moderate traffic on SPID. You're looking out to the west, and uh, things are actually looking pretty good right now. Downtown and the Harbor Bridge are looking pretty unrestricted as it is right now. And so is Saratoga. SPID all the way west and east are in good shape. You do have some slowdown there southbound on Rod Field and in the Midtown area around Everhart and Staples. That's normal for this time of the day. You're also looking at normal conditions out on the JFK Causeway. Your full core forecast comes up after the break. Now, your Chris 6 weather forecast. All right, folks, let's take a look from the Snoopy Cam across Laguna Madre. It's a beautiful afternoon. You've got light to moderate traffic across there. The sun is shining, some thin high clouds, and that's what you're seeing right now on the satellite radar loop. You're also seeing a few of those little showers that are offshore now. A weak disturbance came through this morning and, and produced those that little band of rain over mostly Clayburg County, but southern parts of Nueces County as well. Didn't produce much, maybe a hundredth of an inch here and there. Other than that, we're still looking at fairly quiet conditions across the state with the mercury generally hovering in the 80s or the 70s to lower 80s. And we're seeing that around here with the lower 80s in the inland areas, 70s along the coastline. Port A coming in at 70, uh, I just stepped in front of it, excuse me, 73 degrees, ladies and gentlemen. Now, overnight tonight, we are going to be dropping into the middle to upper 60s. It's going to be a warm, somewhat breezy evening, and the aforesaid coastal fog will be a, a situation along the immediate coastline, but not in the inland areas. We're still having the wind coming up overnight tonight. It doesn't really drop down very much, and then it gets very strong during the day on your Wednesday, and for that matter, on Thursday as well, with gusts well in excess of 30 miles an hour. Now, tomorrow, it's going to say mostly cloudy, a bit warmer in the middle to upper 80s near 90 in the inland regions here and still breezy with that southerly flow keeping the moisture coming in. In fact, that's going to be uh, part and parcel to what we're seeing right now as far as your marine forecast for tomorrow. Under partly cloudy conditions, uh, it'll become windy by afternoon with that south wind 10 to 20, gusting to 25 knots, and the water temperature sitting in the upper 60s. But the differential between that water temperature and the dew point, which is in the lower 70s, is enough to induce that sea fog. It's also going to make for choppy bays and two to three foot seas. So this is what we're seeing, passing clouds during the overnight and for the next couple of days. By Thursday, you start to pick up a few little spotty showers out there. They're not going to amount to much, but it's a prelude to what we're going to see for the weekend as this big upper level storm system ejects pieces of energy across the state. And by the time you get into Friday, showers and thunderstorms will be increasing in our area, especially Friday night into Saturday and Sunday with some heavy rain at times. That'll be tapering off as you move on into the first part of the week, but between now and then, it looks like significant rainfall coming in to much of our area, some of that ending up in our watershed, which is very good news. Now, this is going to change with time, but we're zeroing in on a significant rain event Saturday and Sunday, so prepare for that. And in the meantime, what we're looking at is a low tonight in the, only in the upper 60s under cloudy, somewhat breezy conditions. Again, watch for that coastal fog out there. And then highs in the 80s the next few days, windy coming up Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And on into early Saturday, you're going to start picking up those thunderstorms. Yes, we have some showers Friday and Friday night, but the thunderstorms, significant rain Saturday and Sunday. And then a cold front makes it in here Sunday night, cools things down a bit. And then there's still some lingering showers on your Monday, but Tuesday is looking pretty good.